very briefly for you, these young people decided that they're going to accept, not only accept, but live up to their Islam in a society that hated Islam. And actually, they could have stayed quiet and not told anyone that they're Muslims. And they could have lived dormant lives, undercover Muslims kind of thing. But Allah Azza wa Jal gave them the courage of heart that they stood up and they testified. إِذْ قَامُوا فَقَالُوا رَبُّنَا رَبُّ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فَمَا أَهَمِّيَةْ كَلِمَةْ قَامُوا why, why is the word Qamu even mentioned? They stood up, they rose, they stood up to challenge the king and the authorities that be and said, no, we don't accept the religion of, of the state or whatever else, of the governance. No, we have our own faith. We, we believe in the master of the skies and the earth. They declared it openly. And this was considered an act of treason. So they were supposed to be executed for their crime. And they were these young guys. These are young, young friends. So they got scared and they asked Allah for help and Allah put in their heart that they should go back into a cave, a cave that they were familiar with, but I won't tell you how they're familiar with that, that's for another time inshaAllah ta'ala. So they go into this cave into hiding and Allah you know, covers their ears, they go to sleep, and they don't even realize that 309 some years have passed by and they wake up. And then the story continues that they come out, they send one of them theirs to go get some food. Obviously he goes out to get food and he's wearing clothes from 300 years ago, fashion might have changed just a little bit. And your, your currency might not exactly be the same. You know, if somebody spoke English from 300 years ago, you'd be like, is, is it Halloween already? What's going on, you know? It wouldn't fit in. So the guy goes to do some shopping and he's pulling out like 300-year-old currency. So obviously he gets attention. He's trying to not get attention. You should, whoever goes among you should really watch his step. And don't let anybody realize that what's, up going, what's going on with you, but the guy, how's he going to hide? If he's wearing 309-year-old clothes and he's got ancient currency in his hands, obviously he's going to be the center of attention. So now people find out about what's going on and they get discovered. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. But then Allah decided, and I told you Allah, the, the stories in the Qur'an are brief. But Allah decided to dedicate a very long set of words to this discussion. And this discussion is, سَيَقُولُونَ ثَلَاثَةٌ رَابِعُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ They say they were three. They say, or they will say rather, that they were three. And the fourth one was their dog. Their fourth was their dog. Because they had a dog that was at the mouth of the cave. That people would just see its paws and they'd run away. Okay, that Allah mentions his dog previously too. وَيَقُولُونَ خَمْسَةٌ سَادِسُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ And then they're also going to say that they were five actually. There were five guys. And the sixth one was their dog. Rajman bil ghaib. And I'll tell you about Rajman bil ghaib in a bit. Throwing stones in the dark. Literally what that means is throwing stones in the dark. وَيَقُولُونَ سَبْعَةٌ وَثَامِنُهُمْ كَلْبُهُمْ And they'll also say there were seven and the eighth one was their dog. Now, Allah says they say this and they say this and they say this. So you would think this is important. But actually a lot of times, a lot of Muslims, unfortunately, when they read this or study this story, they don't realize what's hap happening here, what Allah Azza wa is saying. One thing we have to note in the Qur'an is whenever Allah Azza wa Jal says, يَقُولُونَ They say. They say. Study the entire Qur'an, look for what they say. And you'll find they say really dumb things. They say idiotic things. They say things that Allah criticizes. They say things like, يَقُولُونَ مَتَى هُوَ They say, when is the Day of Judgment coming? You know? They, they ask, or they, they, they make all kinds of criticism. يَقُولُونَ شَاعِرُ They say, he's a poet. That's what they say. In other words, when people just talk, Allah quotes their stupidity sometimes in the Qur'an and then answers it with wisdom. He answers it with wisdom. So even the uslub, just starting with sayaquluna, should give an ishara, should give a hint to the reader, Allah is not happy with these people. They're not, he's not exactly happy with these people. Now this story has many amazing lessons. 